Cool. It's flat. Welcome to the Illegal News Show, where if you enjoy this programming, you're going straight to federal prison. We're your hosts, Christian, Luke, Blake, and John. We begin the half hour with a look into our programming, Trippin' on a Hole in a Paper Heart, Crazy Train, and Despicable Me. But first up, we have a song by Rush called The Analog Kid. That was The Analog Kid by Rush from their 1982 album Signals. The band stayed together to tour and make albums until drummer Neil Peart's retirement in 2015. Next up, we got Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. That was Crazy Train by Bat Eater Ozzy Osbourne. And now with Luke with the weather. Today we are looking at a high of 57 with a low of 43 and cloudy skies with 20 mile per hour winds. That was the weather brought to you by our sponsor, the state of North Dakota. Have you ever felt down in your lame state of the U.S. of A? Well, come on up to North Dakota. We have all the things you need. Bad homing, flat land, and nothing interesting about us at all. We even brought in someone who visited here recently. Yeah, it was so bad that I felt safer being in Detroit. So when you have nothing left to lose, come on up to North Dakota. We're not even the best Dakota. Thanks, North Dakota, for never failing to disappoint. Now for our next song, Better in Stereo by Dove Cameron. That was Better in Stereo by Dove Cameron, and is also the intro song to Live and Maddie. And fun fact, did you know that Live and Maddie are actually played by the same person, Dove Cameron? Well, coming up right now, we have another hit, Trippin' on a Hole in a Paper Heart. That was Trippin' on a Hole in a Paper Heart by Stone Temple Pilots, who are currently touring around the U.S. and Canada through this year. Now we've got an idea. How about we all do our impressions of each other? Let's start with Christian. Hey, uh, hey I'm, I'm, I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm a super masculine voice. Christian. Thanks, guys. Okay, now let's do Luke. Hey. I'm Luke. Uh, I have a I'm deep, Luke. masculine uh, voice. I'm, and I'm so epic. <laughs> and I'm okay, wait, wait, wait. Now let's do John. I'm John. Look at me. I'm so masculine I'm and awesome. I and love cool Mario guy. and other games. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Let's do Blake's voice now. <laughs> hey, I'm Blake, and I love Rush. Hey, I'm Blake. I, I like Tom Sawyer. Rush is my favorite band. Hey, God, I'm Blake, stop it, guys. <laughs> I that don't sound place. like that. It's I don't sound. Stop it! Right. I like Rush. Stop! It's not funny. <laughs> uh, poor Blake. Too bad no one cares because we have an upcoming slap with Despicable Me by various artists. Um, that was Despicable Me from the original motion picture, Despicable Me. Hey John, what's the temp outside? Well, it is currently 11.40 a.m., which means it's 54 degrees outside, but we still got two more songs left to do. That's right, John. Our songs are Moves Like Jagger from Maroon 5 and Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. So enjoy the end of the program. Thank you for listening to the Illegal News Show. And from all of us at the studio, have, have a good, good afternoon.
Hey, buddy, catch! Why does this always happen right here? Blake, I know time's been tough, and I haven't been the best friend, and I keep throwing grenades at you, but I just want you to know I'm proud of you, buddy. Thanks, buddy! Thank you, Chris Ballard. We need a new head coach and quarterback now! Well, Mr. Ursay, I think we got something right here. Blake Marth. Get that kid and loose over the stadium now! Yeah, I am well, sir. I think I found our next head coach, but I don't know if you're going to like him. He's a homeless man from Indianapolis. I don't care if he's homeless or not. Anything's better than the last guy. That's a W. Go! <laughs> Trick play. Throw the ball as far as you can. Play action. A new record! That's impossible! Trick play. Give him a purposely thrown interception. He's gonna heave one. Away. Run the wrong way and then fumble into the end zone. Intercepted at the goal line! Trick play. Punt at the one yard line. What in the world? Trick play. I'm going to catch the touchdown. You believe in miracles? Yes! Congratulations, guys. You got the job. Thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate it. That's right, guys. You're going to be the new coach and quarterback for the Detroit Lions. No! Welcome to the 57th Nerf War in the Nerf Dome in Detroit. We're your host, Christian Holmberger. And Blake Mara. Starting with our POV camera on some random kid we paid five bucks to give us mediocre GoPro shots. We wait for the countdown. And they're off. And this kid is moving up. He's making his way to the front line offense and drags into a stalemate with his teammate who learned all his movement from Fortnite and teabagging. Now coming in from the left side, a gremlin runs into the fray of enemy fire, letting out a war cry. As this kid is holding his ground, he's quickly running out of ammo. First girl slides in with the holy grail of ammo refills. And now we know that the ammo from the field went into the purse, which is clearly a violation of rules. And now as we near the end of the game, we see that the kid gets excited because he thought he won the game, but in fact he lost with a score of 3-1 to one minutes in favor of Team Red Green Red. As he makes it, this realization, the hope leaves his eyes. Thanks for tuning in to Nerf 457, and we'll go through the exact same thing next year. News. Hello, stars. My name is Christian Holmberger, and we're outside of Aaron Rodgers' house. We're going to take a look at what he's doing as soon as he comes out his four-day darkness retreat. But first, let's take a look at some highlights from that retreat. And here comes the man himself, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron, what was it like in the dark? I saw everything what do you mean by that i saw god and was that obama well that's pretty cool aaron but follow-up question why have you been looking that way the entire time you see as soon as i opened that door the light was so immense that it turned me blind well that's pretty funny raj because you can do this simple thing called retire but i decided i wanted to play again well that's okay aaron because you can go and play baseball instead Watch this. News. Today, Christian and I are going to be trying out for the FFA dodgeball team because we're just so interested in doing things like winning. This is going to be our dodgeball today, and to first up, we're going to test our accuracy. Good 
good start. Ready? That was our audition tape for Mr. Haney's dodgeball team. If you don't choose us, then you're... <laughs> please, please, we need this for ourselves, God, please, please. News. Welcome to Boone County 1, where over 500 participants are going to show up for this year's event. Oh, and it's extraordinary. He's tagging himself in. Oh my goodness. Shortcut! What is the meaning of this? Why am I even running this marathon? I have a wife and family at home I need to feed. Oh, gotta get back to the race. Hey, congratulations on finishing the race. Good job on finishing 500 first, by the way. What? News. As people have been experiencing lately, Indiana's been having some really bad thunderstorms. Because everybody knows the old saying, April showers brings horrifying tornadoes. Thankfully for us, it's pre-recorded, so we don't have to deal with that. Unfortunately for John, he's out there live right now. We're going to send it to him. All right, guys, let's get the weather for the people. Yep, I believe we're looking at some clear skies. A tornado just hit Jamestown. What? There's another one spotted in Missouri. We, we don't even cover any other state. Boone County's been wiped off the map. Florida, though, has amazing sunny skies, and it looks like it's going to be a great place for the rest of spring. Well, I, I guess that's good. Indiana's been destroyed. Oh, come on! I'm Blake Marth. And I'm Christian Holmberg. And today we've got Blake the Rock Marath versus Christian the Body Hullenberger. Let's get into it. So I can see Christian's going for the Pavlonian approach. He's wow. doing the Queen's opening. This is a really interesting movement for WWE. And the fans are going wild! And oh my goodness, the grandma has walked out of the field. We've lost our feed. And the fighters are beating her up! The humanity, what is this? Oh, oh and Blake has a hangnail! Oh my goodness. This is really going to put him out of the fight. Don't worry, everyone. His hangnail is fine. Unfortunately, he got concussed. So we're going to have to end the match here. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Marin. And I'm Christian Over. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time for WWE UFC. News. This week, Christian and I decided to have some friendly competition with each other. We're going to play each other in three games during the week and see who comes out on top. So we're going to ask you guys, the student body, what you think. Who's better, me or me? Now let's go ask. So we are here with Mr. Foxworthy. Who do you think's better, Christian or I? What up, gangsta? I think you're better than Christian. Yo, Compton, how's it going? I, I love your work. I love your work. Now, who do you think's going to win? Win what? Just going to win. Tom Brady. Good answer, good answer. You. Who's going to win? Who's going to win what? Competition. Yes. Uh, Blake. I felt like Usain Bolt. Blake. That's all you, baby. You. Blake, for sure. Cut that, cut that. Emiliano! Emiliano's winning, I guess. News. Yo, what's up, stars? It's Blake and Christian, and we're going to be playing Subway Surfers competition. We got your votes yesterday, and we're going to see if they add up to the true winner. Yeah, alrighty. On three. Three, two, one. Oh God, I lost. <laughs> no. So yeah, boys, round one of uh, this awesome competition goes to Christian. News. What's going on, stars? I'm Blake, and that's Christian. Yesterday, we played Subway Surfers, and I took an unfortunate and unexpected L. But hopefully today, I can redeem myself when we play Retro Bowl. So let's get right into it. 
Yeah! I am Matt Ryan. Oh, no. No! Unbelievable! He caught it. He fumbled and turned it over. <laughs> Stop! Me, Stop! No! no what? Touchdown! Oh, that was a bad throw. Oh, my goodness. Like, there's... If this wasn't Blake's phone, it'd be in the crowd right now. Well, that's it, folks. It's 40 to 9. Thanks for watching. It's now 1 1. Last game to decide, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm winning Tetris, I swear. News. All right, the score is 1 to 1. Today, we're going to be playing Tetris, and this will be the deciding factor. Had a little bit of a blunder, but we're back in the race. Haha, <laughs> you're doing just what? It's swell, buddy. <laughs> swell. Hey, what is your score? Uh, 71,000. How is it already at 71,000? Good. What level are you at? Eight. I'm at five. He's slow. I'm doing really stinky plays right now. Like, this is straight. Oh, so like you're retro playing. Okay, I didn't appreciate that one. It's over for me, man. I can't do this. What's your final score? Roughly? If I can do one more line, I can't. Uh, 400,000, uh, four, uh, four, four, nine, one, zero, five, zero. Come on. Oh no, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. No, and it, I, I can't even spin yes! that I couldn't even yes! spin that time. Two, one blink to me. I am just a winner. I think I'm gonna quit life. News. We're getting ready for the 2024 presidential debate here at the Weibo Auditorium between Senator Mitchell Fries of Indiana and Governor George Meatloaf of Indiana. So candidates, what's your position on the economy? I like it. It's okay. How dare you say it's okay? This is America. America is the best. We don't even have free health care. Guys, too much politics and arguing. Let's move on. This is a presidential debate, not a debate. So, what's your guys' favorite pizza? I like plain cheese. I like mushroom. Oh, so you hate America? Oh, so you're a filthy casual? Yeah, but at least I don't spread communist rhetoric like you! Gentlemen, calm down. Let's go to the next subject. What do you think about electrical energy? Well, why don't you ask my opponent what he thinks? I was going to, Mr. Meatloaf. But first, what do you think? Next question. Okay, fries? I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. Okay, so we are ready to make our projection for the next president of the United States, but one more question. What do you think about abortion? This is a shocker, folks. None of these candidates has won in a landslide, capturing 99% of the vote. We just lost to thin air. Are we really that bad? Do we have to do some introspection? Nah. Now we have our last skip for the day, so let's stop right there. We're sick of this mistreatment. We're out of here. Hollywood slit, I mean unnamed writers. What are you doing? We're standing up for our rights. Poor pay, unfair mistreatment. We're done with it. Wait, I don't know what to say. Are you finally going to treat us fairly? No, I literally don't know what to say. I don't have a script in front of me. I just read and talk. I'm nothing on my own. Then join us on strike and make a difference. We get paid millions for this amazing video. You need to get your replaceable buds back in the sweatshop. I mean, the lovely facility and start writing. Yeah, your kids don't love you. <laughs> WB TV in Hollywood, please do better. Like, pretty please. It's been 13 years. What, it's only been two? It's been two years. I've yet to see my family in this stretch. I wonder if my wife remembers me. As awful as I feel physically, I feel all the worse in my head. This feels like a lost cause. We lost several other riders in the cold of December 2023. I barely survived the sub 50 degree weather here in LA. I am left alone, wondering why I still attempt to thrive in these unholy conditions. But until I get my God given rights as a writer, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ah, uh, I'm so hungry. I haven't worked in two years. Oh, hey, look, a depressing sight. Haven't seen one of those in about eight seconds. How are you guys still open? We left you guys years ago. Yeah, unnamed writer. Not even an hour after you left, we took a play out of China's book and just hired a bunch of children to do your old jobs. And they did better than you ever could. Who knew that stories about confinement and depression could be so real coming from the source? 
Not to mention that if any of them start complaining about their conditions and rights, we can replace them with a different five-year-old for like one-ninth of a penny. Can't forget about the reboots that those little money savers pump out of nowhere. We have the almost 16 new Star Wars movies just in three months. Were they even good? Not even one, but critics are thankfully idiots who only look for new things and hate quality. The fans have finally been washed down and have just come to accept it too. This is why no one likes Hollywood. Don't worry, we don't either. So how much are you getting paid? Oh, I'm paying them $10 an hour. <laughs> Me too! Welcome back to the 78th Annual Capture the Flag Tournament, where the rules are that there are none. Our teams for today are blue team led by Luke Rose and red team led by Jacob Miller Rubidoux. It looks like the teams are getting ready to start, and round one starts in three, two, one. And we see Christian chasing down Blake and almost getting him out. And we see Luke rushing in from the center of the field. He's sprinting for the flag and he's got it. He's running around the entire red team and books it all the way to the end of his field. Round one goes to team blue. A fast round and that's why Luke is the team captain. Free game juice. And now it's time for round two. Will Blue get another win or will the red team manage to pull it off? Well, I wouldn't say manage. They aren't that bad. Okay, so meatloaf casual. fan. Whoa, hold on. And it looks like Morgan is defending red flag with some Mr. Miyagi moves. And Luca's run off at the flag and has made it to the other side. That's how it's done! Let's go, Blue! That's what you would say, but it appears that Mirror on Team Red has took the entire cone over the red side before Luke even grabbed the flag. Red has won this round. Wait, hold on. Grab the whole cone? Is that even allowed? Who cares? It's time for the final round and the tiebreaker. Addison is sprinting over to Luke and Jacob to try and get them out of jail, but she is tagged. And Blake on Team Blue has joined the flag and is about to make it over the line, but he is tagged at the last second. Four of Team Blue's members are in red jail. And with all those members of Team Blue out for the count, almost all of Team Red is over on Blue's side. And they can't do anything because Justine on Blue is just standing on the flag. That cannot be fair. Well, it's like you said, there are no rules. Well, it's only good when my team's winning. Well, it sucks to suck, doesn't it? Your entire team is in jail! Anyway, nothing is happening, so let's speed this up. Okay, dude, this needs to stop. Our jobs are on the line. Whatever you say, man, but I need Blue to win. I bet way too much money on them. What? You're gambling too? And we're back to the game. It appears that jailbreak has been called and teams are back to strategize. Hold on, we're not about to just gloss over the fact you admitted to gambling. Are we just going to ignore the fact that you're doing the same? I plead the fifth. It appears that red team is contemplating live. Let's see what they have to say. Dude, I'm about to forfeit. I'm thirsty. <laughs> and Addison was snuck up on again. <laughs> and we have Luke showing off. And he just did the zestiest jump to get over the last line. Addison was snuck up on again. Oh, it appears we have John rushing in to save his team, but oh, he's tagged at the last second by Christian. Addison's got the flag. Blake, what is, what is Blake even doing? And yeah, that didn't go well. And Jacob is doing a celebratory dance off the field. Oh my goodness, he's hitting the gritty. I can't believe it. And Luke is running behind the flag. He's trying to play it safe by not getting tagged. And he's going to go for his friends in jail. And in a couple seconds, I think he's going to do a dive roll. Oh my goodness, he's you in a got dive roll. right. And he is tagged. Oh, and Jacob Allen rushes in and frees all of his friends. But he is the only one left in jail. And a new rule was implemented by the team because this was going on way too long. The winning team would be decided by the amount of people still in their jail. Thank you all for joining us for the 87th annual Capture the Flag Tournament and with victory on Red Team. Actually, I looked and the official betting line says that it counts as a draw, so... We're not going with that information, people. Red yeah, Team has we won. Are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I swear! Are. Ah! Hey, Stars, this is Blake. And Christian. We just want to say thank you so much for watching all of our videos on the special projects this year for WBTV News, especially this one, and this one, and even this one. Can't forget this one. This one. And for some reason, that one. Yeah, for some reason, you guys really like that one. So we really appreciate it. So thank you all for really just watching our videos, enjoying our content, giving us views, mainly the views. Uh, I know we've been ripping off Colin, Colin Marth from last year, like, a lot, and we have no regrets. Hey, we only stole some things, and also, I'm his brother, so I don't think he'll really care. Thanks, Colin. 
we really do appreciate all of the uh, support you've given us, uh, walking around in the hallways, just saying our name. It's, it's been a fun ride. I don't know, that's pretty much all I got to say. Thank you so much. News. Hey, welcome back. It's our senior year of radio TV segments, and we're going to start this off basically the way that we started off our junior year, talking about football. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Kansas City here. They're the defending Super Bowl champs. Now, personally, I'm a big Lions fan because uh, I like it when my teams are absolutely garbage, so I'm going to pick Detroit like a G. Right, what's our thoughts about Carolina versus Atlanta? Really, that one's pretty much a toss-up. I'm going to go ahead and pick the home team, Atlanta, here. I'm actually going to uh, pick the good old faithful Indianapolis. Let's go! All right, next up, we got Cincinnati at Cleveland. Um, I was always a big Cleveland Brown fan because I watched Family Guy, so... All right, San Francisco and Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Steelers or the San Francisco, whatever they are. 49ers. Anyway, Steelers. I'm going to pick the Steelers also. Arizona at Washington. You see, I'm a very patriotic man. I love my country. So I'm going to go with my first president, Abraham Lincoln. Same. So thanks for joining us with our NFL Week 1 picks. We're going to do this again next week. This is going to be a recurring segment. So hopefully you'll be able to tune in and uh, see what horrible picks we make next week. News. So Christian and I last week each got nine correct, which, to be honest, is only a little bit embarrassing to me. It should be entirely embarrassing for you. I didn't even take it seriously, Blake. You picked 1 p.m. You picked Cleveland Brown because of Cleveland Brown and D1. Okay, week two. So last week, Christian actually picked the Lions to beat the Chiefs, and then it actually happened. So Christian, what do you say on this one? I say I'm going for round two. Detroit's winning it again, baby. I'm going to agree. It's the Chargers versus the Titans. It must be miserable to live in Tennessee, and it's going to be even more miserable. Actually, I'm predicting a, a good old-fashioned 0-1-1. Oh, one and one. They're on tie. Okay, here, if Christian gets one tie correct this year, I'm going to give him three points for that, okay? Chicago at Tampa Bay. I'm just going to erase the team. Next pick, we got the New York Jets versus the Dallas. Aaron Rodgers. And I'm getting a call. Hold on. What happened to Aaron Rodgers? I'm picking the Cowboys. I chose Washington last time, and they, they lose. No, they won. <laughs> oh, they won. So they're pretty good in my eyes. Russell Wilson's Let's Ride is going to go a little bit like this this week. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos Let's ride. I'm pretty confident in my own choices. How about you, Blake? I'm pretty confident too. Football! Intercepted. News. Welcome to week three of the NFL picks. That was beautiful. Blake won, by the way. Detroit actually lost this week. They did? Yeah. No! I could have never expected this, but I have hope. I have hope and prayers for my team. They're winning again. Okay, so last week I was right about Denver. The ride is absolutely imploding, just like this. All right, next up we got the LA Chargers at Minnesota. So, here's the deal. They're both completely awful teams, like just rottenly bad. So I'm gonna choose this one as my tie for the week. Does it, does it really have to go without saying? Do you really think the WBTV program would not be choosing Indianapolis? Well, you're right, I'm choosing Baltimore. Me too. Oh my God, he's blurry. <laughs> Brothers on that Nokia business. Ah! I'm going to pick New England because everyone knows that England is the best place and the Jets had a player just die on the field, so I'm going with New England. I'm going with the New York Jets because Aaron Rodgers died last night. Prayers go out to him and his family. Lastly, we got the Rams and the Bengals. I'm picking the Bengals. Mr. Foxworthy, this one's for you. These guys are going to lose awfully bad. Thanks for watching this, Mila. News. Week four. All right, we got Atlanta at Jacksonville. Now, considering the Jags have home field advantage, I think hey, I'm going to go with that. Buddy, this game is being played in London. Ugh. The filthy Brits are hosting my American football? Ugh, just cancel the game. I'm out. I'm trying to take everything from us. I'm picking Atlanta. Miami at Buffalo. This time it's being played on American turf. Yeah, football! We're going Buffalo. I'm going to pick Miami because of what's going on behind us. 
I'm picking Miami. Next up, Baltimore and Cleveland. Enter Cleveland Browns, get here. Cleveland. Ever since you picked the Cleveland Browns, because of Cleveland Browns, they've done pretty well. All right, our president versus where he was born, Washington at Philadelphia. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Philadelphia just sucks. I hate the state, I hate everything about it, Washington. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Philadelphia. For our last pick of the day, we have Seattle Seahawks and the New York Giants. Again, coming out of New York, not expecting anything good because it's New York. I'm gonna have to go Seattle. Well, the last time the Jets and Giants played back-to-back -back games, on back-to-back -back nights, the Giants lost by 40 and the Jets lost Aaron Rodgers. This is not a good sign. I will be picking Seattle. News. Week five NFL picks. Week four, we don't even know who won. And we don't even know who won! Okay, we got Frank Reich's Carolina Panthers and I'm picking their opponent, the Detroit Lions. We got the Detroit Lions and I'm picking the Detroit Lions. All right, we got the Giants at Miami. As you can see by the uh, game behind us, I really do not have any faith the Giants are gonna win. It's gonna be in Miami. I have to agree. New Orleans versus New England. Now they're both new, but they also both still suck. So we're gonna go tie. I'm gonna go with New Orleans. To the dismay of Mr. Foxworthy, these are two of the worst teams in the NFL right now, the Bengals and the Cardinals, but I will go with the Bengals to win. However, if they lose, I will never pick them again. Uh, I'm gonna go with Arizona. Last game of the week, we got Green Bay at Las Vegas. Green Bay are about to gamble their entire futures away. I actually, I'm gonna make the gamble for them. I'm choosing Green Bay. You see, if the Packers lose this game, the season is officially Jover. News. So as you know, last year, Blake and I did this amazing competition between the two of us. Uh, it was Tetris, Subway Surfers, and Retro Bowl. I absolutely dominated. So this time, we want to do kind of the same thing, but we're going to spice it up. Just Wii Sports. We're going to be including two more people. So we're going to ask people around the school who they think is going to win this competition. Yeah? Who's going to win? Who? Who? For what? Me, John, Blake. You know Blake? Um, yeah. All right, good. All right, some win. other enemy. It's Wii Sports. Oh, you're going to win. Blake. John. Blake won. Then my money's on you. Blake. Who's going to win? Uh, him. I'm going to have to go with John. I'll go with Maruth. Maroth. Yeah, no, John's got that. I'm going to say some other random guy. Give him a good shot, though. I'm going to have to say you're going to win. All right, come on. There's yeah, I think though. it would be John. You? Yeah. I say you. You. Um, I'm gonna go with John. I think John's gonna win. John's gonna win? Let's go. Blake? I think I gotta give it to you. Different guy. News. I'm a bit of a tennis expert myself. I suck at Wii tennis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Get out of here! Nice! Oh, no! No! I missed. Oh. Oh. Yes! yes! Yeah! My bad, I missed. <laughs> I hit this. Oh, it did. It went out. What do I do there? Oh, I'm. <laughs> is this a game between? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Get out of here, man. No. Yes. <laughs> Are you and I hit it. I win by so doing absolutely yes. nothing. You got it, John. Dang it. You don't got it. <laughs> no, I don't. No. Yes. No. That's game one. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa. I just no. Dang it. No. Uh, well, that's oh. over. Since Cooper and I won, we're going to go to a singles game to determine the winner of tennis. Oh, oh, oh wow. No. Nope. You don't got it. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. 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 Thing again. No. Yeah. yeah, I get second bounced. No. <laughs> I, got, I got sugar happy on that one. I just started shaking. And I was. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Like, yeah. Oh, it that was no. no. Oh, there was no way. That was a... no. I don't got this. No. No. Yes. 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 Pretty disgraceful. I think I might have to actually quit the whole thing right now. News. No. Oh. There's seven pins, man. I can get a spare. I can do it. Okay. You know what the strategy is? Just stand still and. Yeah. Watch and learn, tennis. boys. I know it's 10 in real life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this game. Look at me, I'm Cooper. I know how to play bowling. <laughs> warm up, guys. It's a warm up. Sure. This round actually doesn't count. It's a warm up, guys. It's a warm up. Yes! Oh. Yes! You gotta strike! 
Yeah! Double gutter right here, and we're gonna be back in the game. And strike. I lied. Ah! Yes! 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 Finally! Yes! Yes! That's right! That pin went upside down! He okay, he did. And he has beaten me. Alrighty. Well, boys, I think uh, it's been a good time. Uh, I, I hope you've enjoyed watching us play Wii Bowling. Uh, this game is absolutely garbage, and I'm never playing it again. I'm so good! Oh, did I beat him by one? I think I beat John by one. He no! did! He made no! it by one! News. Wait, guys, I don't have a strap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shoot, he got oh, it. Oh, my god. Oh, Blake, I don't know about this one guy. Bunny, it's over. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Get the family guy pose. Oh, shoot, come on. Oh, my god. Oh! Come on, get off! Oh! What are you doing? No! Go no! Back. You were lost! You were so shaking! Blake absolutely destroyed This is why you have courage. There's two bro, minutes left in here. the match. Get Damn. done. Bro. And Don't John get is dirt. dead. Get it, or no. will Christian finish oh! it? Get up, okay. Dad! <laughs> this is full yellow! <laughs> yeah! Now get John get out! <laughs> Stay down! No. No. That's not what he's doing! Stay down! No. He's no. No. 15 seconds. Oh Will we see a knockout in no. round one? Oh! Oh! Come on, you. No! No! I got up at four and then I didn't get up the second time. Like, it, I guess I and All right, fine. I'll take the L. John yes! That's what I'm talking about. News. Let's go, Mom. Why does my character look so unintimidating? God, I can't get it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Get out of my way, I'm not up. <laughs> I'm serving dinner in tuna casserole with a side of knuckle sandwich. Oh. I'm just serving knuckle sandwich. Hey, Blake, you beat up your mom, you're awful. That's your mom. My mom. mom. Oh my god, oh, I might be down. Come, Come on, get up. up. Oh, my mom, win. Get up. Get up. No way. Oh, dang it. I'm going to go down. No! <laughs> you gotta shake it faster than Mom, that. Mom, get up! Is it bad that I'm legitimately tired right now? <laughs> yes, God. Get off! What are you doing? You get oh, get up! Get up! No! Let's go! Get done! Let's go! That is gone! Let's go! It's okay, we'll get on the next one. John this is practice, win. this is practice. <laughs> this is practice. They got, they got no arms. Oh, oh he's oh, gone! Oh, 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 Clutch, it's better than zero. Okay, Shannon. That's my mom. That's my brother's ex. Be at ball. Oh, 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 oh he's gone! It's Dude, a beautiful one. Let's go! Oh! 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 I'm getting to No! No! Yes! Yes! Oh. Yes! Whoever dropped that was like getting kicked off the team after this. <laughs> I said, oh, alright, like I just hit you. I just hit you. I just hit you a ding. That's the slowest pitch in the game. Oh, are you Let's go! Another dinger. You're welcome. Oh, that's not a dinger. Yeah. Blake, I got you two dingers. Wow, that doesn't do anything for me, but. Of course, Dude, like, the, there's nothing the one that's solid is gonna be a home run. There's nothing I can even do about it. News. Blake, you cannot choke and lose this game. Dude, I'm gonna lose 05 uh, like how I won 05 or 50. I'm gonna mercy roll your first game. First. Oh, I'm, are you kidding me? He's gone. Seriously? Are you I'm kidding me? Crush me. Like, I, just any ump was bad. Oh my god! No. Yeah. What? That was a guaranteed out. I Jeez. can't. I have butterfingers. Butterfingers. Go. Go. 
No! That's still two He's points. Get... Dude, Someone... this is stupid, actually. Yeah, see what I mean? Why did we even agree to this? We should have done golf. I don't like this anymore, because I'm not winning. <laughs> <laughs> Are you oh kidding my me? God. You're serious. What am I supposed to do? Hit the ball. No, I did not mean to throw that. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to get a single. God, a single. Oh, my God, I'm playing. He's Let's on the base. What? That oh, was yes, yes. through his hands. That was so oh, close. He went through me. Blake's not going to, like, die completely. Oh, but he is. Yes. It's yes. out. <laughs> Go. I guess Cooper won the whole competition. It wasn't really a challenge for the guy. I'm going to be honest. I'm mad because I didn't win. Okay, good game. <laughs> News. Good afternoon, stars. Thank you for turning in to WBTV News. I'm Christian Hohenberger. And I'm Blake Marath. Today is Wednesday, November 22nd. There are 40 days left in 2023. Let's check today's headlines. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is just around the corner. Book Fair in the Media Center. And a look at Thanksgiving football. More on that in sports. And now for the question of the day. The question is, Black Friday is the biggest day of the year for what trade profession? Email Radio TV at WB.RTV and Outlook, or you can give us a call at extension 3134 if you think you know the answer. Searching for an answer in the moonlight when I saw your face, saw you looking at me, saw you peeking out from under moonbeams through the palm trees, swaying in the breeze. I know I'm feeling so much more. In our top story, the 97th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is starting off in New York City. The event will be kicked off with Oscar-winning musician John Baptiste performing live. Today's show anchors Savannah Guthrie, Hoda Kutby, and L. Roker will be returning to host this year's parade. The parade will start at 8.30 a.m. till noon in all time zones. The event will be live-streamed on Peacock. In Weibo News, the book fair will be taking place in the Media Center from November 27th to December 1st. As always, the fair will have some great books, school supplies, and posters. So make some time out of your day to stop by. Seniors are reminded to send in baby pictures and senior quotes as soon as possible. The yearbook staff have been working hard to put together a great book. Choose a fun and embarrassing baby picture along with a school-appropriate quote. You can turn everything into Andrew Petro or Miss Weber. That's it for the news. Now on to Christian with our forecast. Thanks, Christian. For today's current conditions, we have a high of 46 and a low of 29 with partly cloudy skies. Now a little cold never hurt no one, except for everyone it did, which is why I recommend wearing something warm for the upcoming break. Because looking at our extended forecast, for Thursday we have a high of 51 and a low of 27 with uh, sunny skies. Friday bringing us a high of 41 and a low of 23 with partially cloudy skies. Rounding it off with Saturday having a high of 42 with a low of 26 with partly cloudy skies. That's all for weather, now back to the news desk. Thanks, Christian. Weather's pretty crazy, but you know what's crazier? Dylan Marth Special Project. Let's check it out. I'm Dylan Marth, the Better Marth. Today, we're going to be seeing what everyone's doing for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving, I'm going to my brother's house in Lafayette. It's really far away. I hope it's safe travels and good weather. Um, I'm in charge of the mashed potatoes. Eating food. Evie! What are you doing this Thanksgiving? Eating food. What kind of food? Mashed potatoes. Fatty. Get this door now! This is why mom doesn't love you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brownie, what are you doing this Thanksgiving? Being thankful. For what? Family. <laughs> what a thoughtful man right there. I hate you. I'm not thankful for family. Eating lots of food and taking a long nap. I'm going to Chicago with my mom's family. How much food? I don't know. Marshall Lathers. <laughs> the Slim Shady. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> Howdy. I'm going to my stepdad's sister's house. Yeah? Yep. Yeah? Yep. yep. What are you doing this Thanksgiving? Skinny. Skinny guy. He's getting bigger. 
I need you to tell me something yeah. very important. Alright, what's up? Will you go to prom with me? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my best friend Dylan. He sits at me with uh, <laughs> What are you doing this Thanksgiving? What? What are you doing this Thanksgiving? What am I doing this Thanksgiving? Yes, what are you doing this Thanksgiving? Not spending my day in the shadow of Blake Marth like you. Um, I'm just like eating food. How much? <laughs> Enough. You might be bulking too much, fatty. Bro. <laughs> Do people? Wait, okay, that's people enough time. <laughs> All right, let's go. Me? My baby brother, don't Hey, Mr. Pierce. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing this next year? Uh, getting together with family. We're actually hosting up my family. Have my siblings, my parents over. News. What a video. Here at WBTV, we enjoy some classic football, so we'll send it over to Blake with the latest. Thanks, Blake. Coming up this Thanksgiving, the second annual John Madden Thanksgiving celebration will take place to honor the great John Madden. The Detroit Lions will host the Green Bay Packers at 12.30, the Dallas Cowboys are taking on the Washington Commanders at 4.30, and the Seattle Seahawks are battling the San Francisco 49ers at 8.20. What better way to celebrate Thanksgiving than with family and football? And we have several Western Boone sporting events coming up this long weekend. The boys basketball team will take on Rossville on Saturday the 25th, while the basketball, wrestling, and swimming teams will all have practices over the extended weekend. That's all for sports. Now back to Christian and Blake for the answer to the question of the day. Thank you, Blake. And now for the answer to the question of the day. The question is, Black Friday is the biggest day of the year for what trade prof profession? If you said retail, then you are correct. The teachers who answered correctly are... Mr. Baird, Mr. Brunny, Mrs. Gillingham, Ms. Marconette, Mr. Riggins, and Ms. McClaskey. And the students answered correctly are Perry McClaskey, Joshua Dickey, Aries Beck, Grant Lauman, Phoebe Truitt, and Shauna Tully. And here's a look at our trivia leaderboard. Ms. McClaskey leads the teachers while Mal Malachi Catterson leads the students. That's all for today's broadcast. Thanks for tuning in, stars. I'm Blake Morris. And I'm Christian Hohenberger. And from all of us here at WVTV, have a great Thanksgiving. Welcome to the new school year, students. Whether you're a recurring student or a brand new one, one thing you'll need for this upcoming school year are the school-issued laptops. These are the school-provided laptops for the 7th through 12th grade here at Western Boone. These computers allow you the recourse to learn more than any book will ever teach you. These computers will allow you to have immediate access to information, faster communication, presenting information, synthesis of information, improving rote memory, enhanced research, problem-solving skills, and increased responsibility of digital citizenship. One of the most important things to know is that computers are a privilege, not a right, so respect them and don't be surprised if they get taken away. Keep in mind these computers are school property, which allows the school the right to access all information on or accessed by the laptop. That means that you probably shouldn't look anything up that goes against the student handbook. Disclaimer, don't do this. Oh golly. Students need to bring fully charged laptops to school every day. Bro, I'm so glad I finished that English essay last night. That thing took me four hours to write. Oh nice. You remember to save it though, right? Nah, but as long as it doesn't die, I'll be fine. Remember to take care of your computer. An easy way to do this is to use the school provided computer bags. Disclaimer, don't do this. Man, this seems like a really good area to just relax with my computer without a computer bag. A few moments later.
Disclaimer, you probably shouldn't try this either, but it might be safer. Man, it sure is a good day to have my computer in a secure computer bag. You see? All good. Don't put items that aren't your computer in the carry bag. This is WB TV News. We have John here. John, what do you have in your computer bag? Well, a bunch of stuff. As you can see, it's a little full bag. Don't keep too much in there. Let's see, uh, can spray. I'm not sure what that's for. Oh, this is from tennis practice, uh, you know, tennis ball. Uh, let's see, I got a wire. Eh, not sure what it's for, but you know, I'll find out later. And Oh, found out what that's for. It's for this thing. It's a mic of some kind, I don't know. And let's see. One eternity later. All right, and. <coughs> okay. And we got this, uh, you know, lunch table. Uh, first built in 1981. So where's your computer at? Oh, I left that at home. This is WVTV News. John, what do you have in your computer bag? Well, um, it's uh, my computer, like it should be, all fully charged up, like me on my coffee. You're ready for the day. Nice. If you have any issues with laptops, you can bring them to the media center. Hey, Cannon. Hey, how are you? No, uh, not so good. I think I damaged my computer. Ah, pause. But any major damage done to your laptop can result in, for you, being responsibility. Oh no. <laughs> Students are permitted to take these laptops home to complete homework for their classes, but all the same rules still apply at home as they do in school. Remember one last time, these computers are a privilege, not a right. So make sure you take care of them every single day if you want to achieve all you can achieve here at Western Boone. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great school year here at Western Boone. Hello and welcome to the first non-annual pig tournament featuring Cooper Welchel, Christian Holmberger, and Cannon Bruins. I'm Blake Marth, and this is John Armpriester. Hi, I'm the janitor. They just brought me in here. My name's Cooper. Came in this game to win. I think I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat everybody out here. Let's go. Hi. Is this the dagger? <laughs> so here's Christian trying to set up the shot. He misses, typical. Yeah. Unable to sink the three. Meanwhile, Christian hit a three, but then Cannon went and did it himself. So now can Cooper avoid getting the first letter? He cannot. Speaking of a W, Christian gets another shot to go. That's a W. That's E1. That's E1. That's a W. Near the free throw line, can Cannon replicate? He cannot. Christian by some miracle has the lead here. From more than half court, steps up, launches it. Cannot get it to go. For three, he tried to do a fade away like Steph Curry. And all he did was fade the ball away from the net. He is sadder than when he lost to Blake. No, there's nothing sadder than that, honestly. Cannon hits it from three. Let's it go. Got it. And now Christian, in order to avoid elimination after starting out in the lead, here's the shot for three. He got it. He got it. And Christian stays alive. Do you believe in miracles? Because the white shirt just did it. What do you think about the three-way tie, John? Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm banging my money on the football player. Quite literally. I spent 15 bucks on him. Oh, you cannot admit that over the air, buddy. What are you doing? I mean, I was the janitor. I'm not supposed to be up here. You're putting your reputation on the line for a $15 wager. Cannon just goes for the layup. Can Cooper make a simple layup to stay alive? He can. Can Christian make a simple layup to stay alive? Probably not. I definitely agree with you, John. Goes for it, and he banks it out. 
and that will eliminate Christian. Do you think you could have done that shot? Absolutely. These guys. I... Now they're just trying to go back and forth and make a shot. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. That looked like me, bro. It's simple. Can Cooper replicate? Here's potentially the game winning. And it is over! How does it feel to be a loser? You know, it feels all right. I should have made that easiest shot of the game, but you know, I can't make close shots because I'm bad at the game. But you know, it could have been worse. Cannon, how does it feel to just get that dub? Feels great. Anything else? No. All right, that's all for our tournament. Thanks for joining. I am Blake Morris. And I'm the Jander. And thanks for watching. We'll be back maybe some other time. News. It's just another love song. One thing you can do for your significant other is to take them out to a fancy restaurant. Yes. Oh. Or, you know, you can just cook at home. What am I talking about? I don't even have a girlfriend. If there's one thing I know about people is that they love when you don't talk to them. This one piece of advice is why the ladies absolutely love me. Or take her out in my Mercedes. News. Ah, oh, again, news man. You again? Yes, me, me again. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Are you currently on break right now? Yeah. Ah, good, fantastic. I have something very neat to show you. Oh, great. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, darn air buds. I tell you, one thing falls out, changes history. It does. Anyway, yep. Here we are. Wow. Where are we? The Wild West. What's that? Well, it's the period in the Americas during, you know, West. They call it the Wild West, but it's not really that wild. At least not as much as the other parts of the country. It was from periods of 1840s to late 1900s. So you basically kidnapped me? Well, I wouldn't say kidnap, per se. So you did kidnap me? Look, it, th there's nothing to worry about, my dear fellow. We can always go back when your break is almost over. Well, my break's over. But how can it be over if I can just travel before it's over? Here, let me see it. I wouldn't touch that. And you play this game way too much. You're just terrible. Yeah, maybe. At least it's not mad no now. Hey, you smell something? Is it you? No. Need to fix that rank smell in a flash? Well, go ahead and use Old Spice. With its not smelling completely terrible technology, it'll save any bad smell experience you may have. Hey, it smells nice in here. Hmm. Old Spice. Please buy it. Nobody else will. News. Welcome to a new segment we're going to do here on WBTV News. It's the mailbox segment where we take your questions and answer them. Let's go! Who is the hottest one in the room? Definitely got to go with John, to be completely honest. John. I can compete because Christian isn't here. Who is the best Mexican train player? A, Mrs. Butler, or B, Mr. Foxworthy? I'm gonna have to say Mrs. Butler. I'm gonna say Mr. Foxworthy so I don't get fired. I prefer not to answer Mrs. Butler. Why does Mr. Hawkins give us so much work? Well, I don't know, because he's a teacher. He's supposed to give you work. You dummies. 
well, maybe he gives you so much work because you said gives instead of give, so it's like improper English and stuff, so maybe that's why. I'm not good with English. This one's from Mr. Cunningham. Why does Purdue always choke in March Madness? Uh, yeah. I think they always choke because they don't play really well. My answer is because they don't got that dog in them, so. Why can IU never make it to March Madness? They just don't have the march. They don't got that dog in them. They're just also not very good. News. Why does Mr. Hawkins always put so much gel in his hair? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why don't you ask him? Did it say who wrote that down? Oh, so you say Cunningham wrote them down, so we're exposing him right now. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. You gave me too much. Over. Well, you see, based on that homework question earlier, apparently he likes things in bulk, so I'm just going to go with that. Well, you know, he has hair. He needs to take care of it. Look at mine. How much does Cannon bat squat? Why are you making me answer? This is you. John, you got anything? I'm going to guess maybe 30, 40. I'm going to go with 900. I'm going to go with all of it. Just be quiet, John. <laughs> How many hot dogs can Haney eat in one meal? Let's see. Body weight times the average hot dog plus how many you can eat in a minute. I'm going to have to say maybe 90 until he pukes. Maybe go with two. Two's pretty filling. I'll say four. You know, he's eating all those hot dogs. I guess you can say he's got that dog in him. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! News. Okay, so I'm going to read this one off, and then we're going to give another one. Rain plus sun equals rainbow time. Rain plus sun equals question mark. What? This guy's a real jerk. <laughs> if you were an ice cream sundae, what toppings would you have on you and why? I'd probably go with a little hot fudge. Um, if I had to say, probably some protein powder, um, <laughs> vanilla yogurt, more protein powder. I got real athletic skills, I'm a sneaky athlete. Uh, this guy takes care of himself and eats healthy. Boring. What about you, John? Whipped cream, sprinkles, uh, maybe a candy cherry. What is the class like? The class is pretty good. Do you enjoy what you do? Yeah, for the most part. What is the best part of the class? I'd say putting the skits together and uh, editing and stuff. What is the class like? It's pretty quiet. You know, it, it, of course, you know, there there is talking and whatnot, and we do chat and whatnot. Just like learning how to make videos and whatnot, and of course doing the radio pat podcast and whatnot i don't i can't really think of best parts they're just it's just really good do you enjoy what you do yes i do what is the best part of the class meeting new people news would cannon beat mr burke in a arm wrestling competition neither because i would win How many lows would Rob Lowe rob if Rob Lowe could rob lows? I'd say nine, maybe ten. This is my confused face. The more important question is, would Rob Lowe really rob Rob Lowe? This is from Burke. Would you rather fight 100 chicken size of T-Rexes or fight one T-Rex size of chicken? Probably fight 100 chicken size of T-Rexes. This is basically the question, what would you rather fight? A billion wasps or a million lions? Which, you know, you gotta go with the lions because there's less of them. In this case, one T-Rex sized chicken is really terrifying. So I'm gonna go with the 100 chicken sized T-Rexes. I'll take the T-Rex. Which one is that, John? <laughs> I'd probably pick the 100 chicken sized T-Rexes. You know, just stomp on them. How many protein bars does Cannon eat in a day? Three times 24, because there's 24 hours. I did the math myself. It's 72, John. All of it. News. Uh-oh, we got some slander. Why is Mr. Burke threatening to fight innocent children if they don't donate to his coins for a cause? That seems like an attack campaign, and I'm not going to comment on that. Pretty dangerous. Probably because he knows Haney's going to win. Watch out, Burke. We're coming. Who's we? <laughs> Who do you mean, we? From Mr. Brunty. 
Thank you for keeping us informed. You do a phenomenal job. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Brony. I was just in your class. <laughs> What's your favorite field trip for the class slash all field trips you're able to take? My favorite field trip, Turkey Run. Your next getaway should be at Turkey Run State Park. Turkey Run's a great one. I'd also probably go with going to the news stations that we've gone to. The IASB uh, competitions have been really cool. I have not been on a field trip, but I love Mr. Foxworthy's class. It's super fun. I think you should join it. Now that's just advertising. News. Are there more doors or wheels on Earth? That's a good question, because there's a lot of doors and houses and buildings everywhere. There's a lot of cars. Honestly, I'd probably go with doors, though. Blake is really smart. That's where he's the go! The go! So, doors. So, what exactly existed first? Doors or wheels? I'm flabbergasted, or confused, or bamboozled. Just so you know, I think the wheel was invented first. All right, then I gotta say yes. Yep, that's an answer. My RTV students are some of my favorite kids. Good people in the program by Haney. Thank you, Haney. <laughs> Haney, thanks for that. And uh, if there was any slander in any of these, just know it was not us. And we just were answering the questions. So yeah, uh, thanks for that. Thank you for giving me more time on my essay. Do your best horse impression. I'm going to go with nay. Here's mine. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Here's mine. What's up, brother? <laughs> that was pretty good too, right? Fix yo whack mics. You gotta take that one up with Mr. Foxworthy, man. Come on. I thought the mics are pretty good. Don't watch. You know what you should do? Fix your whack handwriting, man. Come on. News. Are there more doors or wheels on Earth? Honestly, I'd probably go with doors, though. Blake is really smart. Cannon, you're wrong, and I can prove it. Now we gotta look back at one of the previous things that my opponent here said. There's a lot of doors and houses and buildings everywhere. And while that's true, there are definitely more buildings compared to cars. You're not really thinking that deep. You gotta think deeper. You gotta, you gotta surf it. Like we're, you're thinking surface level here. Now, did any of you ever have a childhood? No, I didn't ask. With that, Legos. This company has made so many wheels and variants. It is actually insane. Just the amount of plastic and rubber Produce in the circular things that spin is crazy. When I think about Lego and other companies that make toys, I think about businesses. And when I think about businesses, I think about capitalism. And when I think about capitalism, yeah, that's right, I think about Chinese factories. What is something that it goes on in a production facility like a factory in China? Oh, I, I maybe. Mean... Yeah! Yeah, so that's a conveyor belt. And that's the first image that popped up for me. That is over 100 wheels, not including the wheels to move the thing. Now, I want to be fair. When it comes to a factory, like, you got to think, <laughs> obviously, there's got to be a lot more doors in there, too, right? There can't just only be wheels. You got to have doors. That's stupid, and you're wrong, and you're dumb. This is a, this is a factory. You have three-year-old Chinese citizens working here. They can't reach the doorknobs. And if you still don't believe me, if you still think there are more doors in this world than wheels, just do me a favor. Go up to your parents and ask them if they're proud of you. Would you rather move like a crab or a kangaroo? Explain your choice. Probably a kangaroo because they are very strong and that they are smart and that they can move fast. Definitely going with kangaroo. I mean, crabs walk really slow and they walk sideways. Kangaroos are cool. They jump and stuff. Well, I hope you know crabs can fly. Hello, I like money. Last question. When did all of Haney's <laughs> Oh boy. Carter Elkins. When did all of Haney's hair fall out? Wow, Carter. Low blow. Come on. Haney's a friend of this program, I'm pretty sure. I like Mr. Haney. That's kind of mean, Carter. Okay, the end of the day announcements are going, so we gotta go. And with that, we are out of the first batch of mailbox questions. Thanks for submitting. Maybe we'll do this again sometime if you have any questions and we're coming around asking for questions. Go ahead and ask and we'll answer. News. Hey there. We're getting ready to do WBTV Mailbox Session 2. So that means we're going to need more questions from you guys. John and Cannon will be coming by on April 16th during 6th hour. That is next Tuesday. Collecting questions like they did last time. If your class is not visited, we are sorry. Give us your questions. Okay, that is all.
Thanks, John. Just so it's known, some guidelines for questions. Number one, must be school appropriate. No cursing, nothing political. We don't want any of that stuff. If we get any like that, we're just tossing them out. And number two, just make them not super weird, please. I mean, like, we already had some weird ones last time. We don't need any more. Again, though, as long as they're appropriate, we will more than likely answer. If you want to put your name, you can. Does not guarantee we're going to say it. Canyon, you got anything to say about this? Be ready for that. News. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WVTV Mailbox Session 2 recordings. We got way more questions than we did last time, so thanks for all those. You might notice, though, we got an empty chair here. That's because we have a surprise. That's right, he's back. What up, guys? We got the technology to bring Christian back, finally! I'm not dead anymore, whoop! All right, first question. Favorite thing about Weibo and least favorite thing about Weibo? My favorite thing about Weibo, I'd say, is probably Radio TV, Ceramics. really like A-Push as well. I like pretty much all my classes, but I'd probably go with Ceramics and Radio TV. Those are my two favorite classes. Least favorite thing about Weibo? You know, I'm not a very negative guy, so I love everything. I'm lying. Well, I don't want to get in trouble, so yes. We got a lot of good teachers. My least favorite part, I got some things in mind, but I won't say. What is the area between the curves? This is from Mr. Brunny. FX equals X squared plus 6X minus 29. GX equals 9X plus 11. Hold on, I got my calculator. I am good with math. I am the smartest one here. Wow. Probably 2,197 over six. I can't believe it. Is that right? Yeah, they just sound confused. I don't know why they never put me in AP classes. News. English is not your forte. Why need a parking pass for Weibo? Question mark. He said that was by Haiti. Wild for an English teacher to Buddy, put you're that. you're supposed to know how to spell extravagantly. Come on, you man. Bum. Actually, I wrote the question down. Bum. <laughs> I said you're a is it legal to put someone in a headlock when playing basketball? Well, the rules have changed since last I played. I feel like that is a flagrant foul. You gotta, like, you're trying to do all sports at once. So you do wrestling, get them in the headlock, you do basketball, you shoot the three-pointer, and then you play some football where you just absolutely, like, just run into them. And yeah, it is. To Blake with, I'm gonna have to put this on screen, oh my god. If you could have dinner with one close friend by candlelight, who would it be and why? Love your secret admirer. Well, that's obvious. Christian. This guy plays for the same team. <laughs> uh, Blake, obviously. If I had to pick, though, it's to Blake, by the way, so none of you needed to answer that. I'd probably go with all three of you, and I know who this is. Andrew. I love you. We need to cut that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> News. I hope there's an OJ question. Dude, I that love OJ crazy. questions. Did you see? And what he did was murder, guys. I did mean, 2,000 yards all purpose. He killed it on the field and off the field. He killed yeah, his wife. And a waiter. That is something that no one can ever take away from you. Unless you kill your wife and a waiter, in which case. <laughs> what's your favorite restaurant? And what do you order? I'm a simple man. I love me some Culver's cheese curds, a milkshake, get a nice little cheeseburger. Yep, that's Blake, a fat kid in the inside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I like Steak and Shake. You know, whenever I can go there, I, I miss the fact that it used to be a diner. You're the only person that's ever said that Steak and Shake is actually edible. Probably, if it's fast food, Chipotle. Uh... If it's something like fancy, St. Elmo's, yeah. Oh. oh my god, what are these questions? Why is Blake Marth such a hot man? I said no weird questions. That was That's one of the weird, requirements. Dude, it's asking why. It, they need to know. Oh. They need to know, Blake. I don't know. <laughs> it was a curse I was born with, guys. I don't know. I can't help it. I'm just so good looking. News. Can Mr. Foxworthy give my brother Ethan Harlan an F minus? Why are you trying to mess with my buddy, buddy? Look in here, buddy. I'm trying to say. Why'd you. F minus doesn't exist. You're stupid. Bomb. I didn't know that. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> Cannon, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> 
Where is the door to the basement? It's at the uh, entrance of the basement. <laughs> what are these questions, man? John, you said we had a lot of questions. Uh, did you fail to mention that they're not good? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The answer. <laughs> that was so funny. That was so funny. I am 100% certain I know who this is from, but it does not say. Akron or Ball State basketball? Ball State is bad. Come on to WBTV mailbox segment. And you have the audacity to say Ball State basketball is bad. You're correct. I don't watch basketball. Chirp, chirp, we fly. Cardinals country, let's fry. Broncos country, let's fry. <laughs> Do you like stray berries? <laughs> no. <laughs> bro, there's no way. There's no way you said stray berries, bro. You were so close to having a question we could answer, but that's not a real thing, so we can't answer it. You have no idea how good stray berries. Yes, oh my god, Lego shows are there. They gave the answer on the paper. They really just wanted us to know. <laughs> How many Lego shows are there? Nine. 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 Nine, 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 nine. Eight. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. <laughs> I hate this guy. Bro. This guy sucks. Why is John the nicest one? John and Cannon are not twisted and evil like Christian and I. I think I'm going to leave. <laughs> John is a very kind person. He's a very caring person. He cares about everyone. Okay, that's all the time I've got. Why did she leave me? Some things just aren't meant to work out. I'm sorry. She's meant for the streets. It's fine. There's plenty of other fish in the sea. Let's go home. Relax. That was it. <laughs> I, thought there was, I thought there was an ultimate point to that. News. You gotta read it in the most proper voice you can. Who has the best gritty? Can anybody in here do the gritty? I can. <laughs> I say right foot gritty. <laughs> Alexander who broke it up. Oh, he's got a little gritty. Who would win a tennis match between Cunningham and Haney? They're both pretty good. I'll say this, I do have Cunningham for a class and if it'll get me bonus points, um, I'll go with Cunningham. If it won't, I'll say a draw. This would be a good question if tennis was a good sport. I don't need any bonus points because I have a 100 in English, so Haney. I'm not a tennis expert, so I'm going to say... Next question, all right. How much gel does Mr. Hawkins use? We've already had that yeah, question. Here's my intake on it. How much gel does uh, Mr. Hawkins use in his hair? If you were to light a match around him, the whole room would go on fire. Funny story, we ran out of time. We're gonna have another recording session. Boo, these guys suck at timing. Boo. Real time update. We just recorded session three, so those episodes will be coming soon. News. Is this technically session three, guys? No. Oh. <laughs> Forget I said that. <laughs> would you rather headbutt a rhino or get ran over by an elephant? So how would I rather die? I'd rather not die, to be real with you. What do you guys think? Bro, if you're headbutting a rhino, you're going head on into death instead of just being trampled by an elephant. What are you, Simba? What's the death line? Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa. Let's get ran over by an elephant. Well, for a rhino, I can dodge. For an elephant, then uh, yeah, I'm screwed. Why do people use so much Axe body spray? Honestly, do you really want to be looking like this? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I use Old Spice. What is the old time best subject in school? So I might be basic and bald. Math. I like it when the clock turns to 2.55. Um, probably uh, English. Maybe not seem like it. I like English. I'm a big history guy, not really so much of the world, but I do like U.S. history, so there you go. What is your favorite bug? None of them. They're stinky and gross, My like favorite. Blake Marth. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win a race, Cunningham or Haney? They're both old and slow, probably. They're still both gonna outrun you. Well, duh, yeah, look at me, dude. Cunningham. Haney. Me. You can't run forever. He's just standing there, menacingly. News. Oh, I love this question. Why doesn't Christian love me anymore? From Ethan Hibbs. Ethan, I thought you loved me. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought maybe I'd just run across Greenbow County. 
Who's your favorite teacher and why? I'd go with Fox. He's given me all these opportunities here in radio TV. I really like all my teachers. They're all really just the best. Yeah, same here. If Blake is crazy for that, then I'm going mad. Oh, hey, Mark. Who are you talking to right now? Who is faster, Mr. Compton or Mr. Pelly? Have you seen the speed that Mr. Compton runs to like the junior high locker room? If somebody starts acting a fool, it's actually crazy. My pure, just blissful guess, it's gotta be Mr. Compton if he's angry. Why is Oakley the best teacher? Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. I, I was gonna say redo it, but we're keeping that. If you could be any school supplies, what would you be and why? By Mrs. Smith. Schmidt. Smith. Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Schmidt. 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 This is going Schmidt. in the video, guys. <laughs> Alright, the art teacher. <laughs> A book? <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Ruler, because I rule. Long live the king. I'd be paper because you can fold up. Because he gets folded on a 24 7 basis. What the heck? News. Are you Sigma? Please shut up. <laughs> Please leave. Um, what the Sigma? Um, what the um, Sigma? What the Sigma? Um, what the Sigma? Um, what the Sigma? Why do we drive on parkways and park on driveways? That one's from Pelly. I don't know what a parkway is. That's why I don't stop on uh, driveways. What is my favorite yogurt and why? Ask him how to spell it too. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, I'm a football player. Who's that by? Maddox Gadbury. Well, Maddox, let me know when you hit depth on your squat. Whoa! Compton question. What is your greatest accomplishment in high school? Broadcasting, I feel like we've reached a bigger audience. Football game and basketball game broadcast. Uh, I joined the army. That was pretty cool. Probably having all A's right now. My Mario 64 review because that's the first time I actually been able to make something, you know? <laughs> I just didn't expect it. <laughs> He's also got a quote. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Now that is a classic quote. How long has WBTV been happening? I'll be right back. 13. Well, actually, I do know the answer because I'm smart. 1974. It's been here since the school's been built. Idiot! <laughs> what level are you on Creatures of the Deep? Can you know what Creatures of the Deep is? No, I'm not here. Who is the best PE teacher? Does anyone have an opinion on this? Swisher. Swisher's the only PE teacher I had who's still here. Same. Swisher. Same. Swisher supremacy. News. Starbucks or Seven Brew? Neither, question mark. The iced coffee, Dunkin' Donuts, French vanilla at the gas station. I'll just stick to my pop. I like making my own coffee. Look at me, I can I can make things, I'm canon. Wow. Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> What are you doing after high school? I'm gonna be going to Ball State in sports production, trying to learn how to become a broadcaster. I'm going into Ball State, though I'm not entirely sure which media class I'm going into. I'm going to finish up the rest of my training for U.S. Army, and then I'm going to go to Ball State immediately after that for media production. I'm going to Hanover College to study kinesiology and play football. Favorite Compton quote. There's only one correct answer. I believe that we will win. Uh, my favorite, personally, my favorite quote is, I believe that we will. <laughs> we are laughing. <laughs> when will Cannon pay back the donut he stole from me? From Mrs. McClaskey. I didn't stole it. I asked for it, and you said yeah. This I'm guy sorry. said he had an A in English, and yet I don't believe that. Favorite superhero? Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has done it again! I'll put it on screen and post. Pepsi Maybe Homelander. I bet your favorite superhero is Protein Man. Batman. Of course. <laughs> Best custodian. Shoot, I gotta say all of them because they all do a good job. They're amazing. Do your best Pelly impression. It's just my two cents. Yeah, I can't tell who's who. News. Why is an orange called an orange, but a banana is not called a yellow? Well, because you're stupid and that's dumb. Because who cares? I like bananas. This guy's Ralph from Simpsons. <laughs> I'm in danger. Where did you get the mailbox? Theft. 193 Sparrow Street. Hopefully that ain't yours. Weber questions. Where is the best gas station pizza? Across the street. Would you rather go skydiving or swim with sharks? Both. Would you rather be rich and famous or rich and unknown? Rich and unknown. Who's the best Marth and why? Colin. Blake. I think Blake's the best, I think. You guys are the best. Christian, I can't stand you. Don't talk to me ever again. Okay, I guess I'll go you know talk what? to Get Colin. Get the heck off the show. Get out of my
my house. What shape is the best out of these four options? Circle, square, rectangle, rhombus. Pretty good square guy. Circle. I'm a big rhombus feller. Yeah, rhombus. Shut up, Cannon. He's just like me. I'm Rigby. No, I'm Rigby. The announcements are going, so we gotta go quick. What advice would you give to younger students about their time at Weebo? Make sure you do all your work, and if you do that, you should be able to pass uh, pretty easily. Godspeed and good luck, and if you're <laughs> like me, you can leave. Just be kind. Just have fun. What an appropriate very last question. What is the answer to life, the universe, and everything? The answer is 42. Thank you so much for watching these mailbox episodes. We've really enjoyed doing it, and uh, keep watching uh, WBTV News, and uh, have a great day. See you guys. News. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching our segments both this year and last year. We've had a lot of fun making them. And uh, we really appreciate all the uh, positive feedback we've had. Honestly, I still think back to the first one that we did last year. Christian and I saved the Colts. That was a fun one to make, and I think that one still holds up. That was a fun one. Um, this is my first year doing this with these guys, so probably the mailbox. I'm not good with English. It's probably the computer Oh, video. no. The Wii Sports Contest was the best. You know, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Over at Ball State, we're probably going to do more videos. So if you want to check them out, they'll probably be up on my channel. But here on a WBTV News, this is the last time you'll see us. So uh, thanks again, guys. It's been a fun ride. And for one last time, from us here at WBTV News. <laughs>